today we are going to show you the difference between related and related table so let me go back and first show you the two data sets that we are going to import here in these six columns and 84 rows are there and this another table has three columns and around 29 rows are there so one is product table and another one is sale table so this is a product table so let me import both of the data sets into the power bi so i'm choosing the product table first i'll import this into power bi click on product table and click on transform data actually i want to just check the all the data types are correctly fetched by the power bi or not so as we can see it is correct and let me click on close and apply in these data sets are absolutely fine close and apply and it will be loaded into the power bi similar <coughs> similarly i'll be choosing uh, the sales table and i'll import that one as well using the get data it is in excel format so i'll choose the excel workbook click on connect now i'll choose the sales table and same way we'll be choosing the transform data and we'll see if all the data types are fine or not so these are all fine it looks sales date is not correct so i'll choose uh, i'll change this sales data date into only date and now it's fine all are looks good i'll click on close and apply and if we go to the model we can see that there is a one to many connection has been created so both the table has common name that is product name and it, it has formed a one to many relationships so basically this related and related table both will uh, work um, but there is a catch the related function always works in the many side so in this case sales table has multiple occurrences and multiple transaction basically it is there is a repetition of the sales so it is the many side of this relationship so this related function will work in the sales table not in the product table because it's always work in the many side so let me uh, try to uh, write the related function in the sales table because it is in the multiple side many side so i'll write this column name as price so basically i'm trying to find the price that is present in the product table so price is present in both the table in product table as well as in sales table so as we can see that price each is already present in the sales table and right now i'm trying to find the price from the product table so, so that's the reason I have, I'm writing price from product table. I'll come down, I'll write the related and I'll hit the tab key. Now the column name it is asking. So I'll choose, see we, there is a prompt and auto suggestion is coming from the product table. So let me expand this and, and show you what are the attributes are there. So as you can see price each product name and type are present so let me go back to the sales table and now i'll modify this uh, function so i'll write so as you can see it is showing all the three attributes so let me choose the price each so that's now it will fetch all the products price from the product table let me close this formula and hit the enter so then we can see that the each product's price that we have obtained from the product table as you can see both the price is matching on both from the product and sales table and it is, it is exactly same for all the products so if i change instead of price we can bring any other attributes like i want to bring the product type so i'll change this price each instead of that i'll write product type I'll choose this and hit the enter key. Now it has been updated all the product type. So that is the uh, related function. Let me 
try to put the same function in the product table but in this case it will not work because it is in the one side so this related table will not work in the one side so let me write the same thing price and now this time from the sales so we are going to find we are trying to find the price from the sales table i will write the related and as you can see after hitting the tab key there is no suggestion is coming from the sales tables and if i am not able to see or we are not able to see any of the attributes even even if i write the sales inside this function or formula it is not prompting any of these attributes so we cannot write this this thing related table in the one side so let me delete this but let me show you one more thing if i instead of related if i write related table and now it will show the table name because related table only needs the table name any one of the table name but there is also giving the error so what basically is doing in this case usb c charging cable let me go back to the sales table and filter it out for the usb c charging cable if I try to find this USB C charging, as we can see, there is multiple of occurrences happens. So basically, there is three records. So there is more than one records. So all these three records trying to fetch in this one single row, which is not possible. But if I wrap this one using count row, so that will give the total count rows so we saw already it is three if i hit enter as you can see there is a three rows it has counted so basically it is the kind of grouping function it is trying to aggregate and group together as you can see it has three records so it has already counted the three so let me filter it out and same thing we'll do in the sales table as well so i'll put that same function in the sales table and i'll i'll write the same query over here as well so i have pasted over here and instead of sales i'll write this as product so in this case also it will uh, give the correct answer because we are uh, summing up we are doing the count rows but instead of count rows if i remove this count rows and apply only the related table it will give the error again because it is trying to get the all the function inside the inside one single row and it is giving the error as you can see so let me go back to the original one uh, that will be able to count the rows as you can see it has given the single rows for all the product so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll see you with another new exciting video thank you bye bye